Welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is January the 18th, 2022. And before we jump into things here, I want to talk about the links in my description. I do have a Patreon link with a variety of tiers, and one of those tiers may be right for you. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using that link, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. I also have a spreadsheet shop with a ton of different designs and a Your Playmat discount code for 10% off where you can build your own custom playmats. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you very much. Now, let's get moving. Now the first loser of the day is a Legends Rare. It is Bronze Horse, and this card is down 5.27% from 1899 to 1799 for its average price, and its market price is 1692. Next up is a reserveless card, and it's another card from Legends. It's North Star, and it's down 5.86% from $84.98 to $80 for its average price, and its market price is actually sitting higher at $119.31. Next is Disharmony, another Legends Rare Reserve List card, down 6.34% from $68.28 to $63.95, and the market price is sitting at $62.34. Next loser is another reserve list card, but it's from the dark this time. It's Frankenstein's Monster, and it's down 7.15% from $92.47 to $85.86, and its market price is $32.19. Next up on the list here today is Arcbound Ravager, and this is the original copy from Darksteel. It is down 7.74% from $22.47 to $20.73 for its average price, and its market price is $19.58. And the next loser of the day is another reserve list card. It is Argivian Archaeologist from Antiquities, and it's down 8.40% from $212.80 to $194.93, and its market price is $273.13. Next reserve list loser is Ring of Immortals from Legends. It's down 8.48% from $79.75 to $72.99, and its market price is $68.84. Next up is another reserve list card, Mishra's Workshop from Antiquities, and it's down 8.69% from $5,059 to $4,619, and its market price is $3,300. Next up on the loser section here today is Isao Enlightened Bushi from Betrayers of Kamigawa. This card is down 10.08% from $12 to $1079, and its market price is $621. Next up on our loser section is Fatal Push, and this is the Secret Layer series version of this card, down 10.11% from $29.68 to $26.68, and its market price is $19.97. In the next loser we have on our loser section is Axelrod Gunnarsson from Legends, and this Legends Rare is down 10.19% from $38.97 to $35, and its market price is actually higher at $48.38. And the next loser of the day is Void Winnower, and this is the promo pack version from Call Time, and it's down 11.67% from $15.85 to $14, and its market price is $11.02. And our final loser of the day is Strip Mine, and this is the Even Horizon version of the card from Antiquities, and it's down 12.68% from $120.24 to $105, and its market price is currently sitting at $125.09. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day. And we are starting to list off here with Sliver Legion. And this is the original copy of this card from Future Sight. It is up 7.62% from $28.34 to $30.50. Now this card actually saw a few reprints. One of the reprints was actually from Time Salary Remastered. And I just picked up a copy last week, so great timing. And that card is currently sitting at... $20.90 for its average price, and its market price is $18.94. Now, this card also saw a reprint as a Judge promo, and that card is currently sitting at $140.79, and its market price is $123.90. This card does see a lot of Commander play right now as a Commander itself, but it also sees play in Sliver Overlord decks, Sliver Hive Lord, the first Sliver, more often the Boundless, and even General Tazri decks as well in Commander. And now the next card we have on our winner section here today is another great tribal card, and that card is Goblin King, and this is the 10th edition version of this Goblin. It is up 11.02% today from $9.35 to $10.38 for its average price, and its market price is $13.24. Now the cheapest copy of this card is from 4th edition. That card is currently sitting at $4.34 for its average price, and also $4.30 for its market price. The most recent printing of this is from the Secret Layer series, and that card is currently sitting at $11.91 for its average price, and $10.92 for its market price. This card is seeing a ton of Goblin play in Goblin Commander decks like Cranko, Mob Boss, Muxus Goblin Grandee, Wart Bogart Auntie, 
Shatter Gang Brothers, and it also sees a bit of play in Porphus, God of the Forge decks, and Commander as well. And the next winner on our winner section here is Dancing Scimitar from Arabian Nights. This card is up 12.16% today from $73.99 to $82.99 for its average price. And its market price is currently $76.98. The cheapest copy of this card is from 4th edition. That card is currently sitting at $0.40 cents for its average price and $0.21 cents for its market price. This card also had its print run disclosed from Arabian Nights, and there is only 20,700 copies printed. Next winner of the day is Karn the Great Creator, and this is the old border version of this card from the Secret Layer series. It is up 14.98% from $21.50 to $24.72 for its average price, and its market price is currently at $16.74. Now, the War of the Spark version is the original copy, and its average price is $11.17, and its market price is $10.21. This card is seeing some vintage play in Paradoxal Outcome decks, aggro shops, also modern decks like Mono Green Tron, and commander decks like Ossiger the Reconstructor and Urza Lord High Artificer decks as well in commander. And the next winner on our winner section is a reserveless card from the dark. It is Exorcist, and this card is up today 16.67% from $29.99 to $34.99 for its average price, and its market price is a little less at $28.10. This card also happened to have its print run disclosed, and there is only 134,000 copies printed from the dark. Next winner is Army of Allah, and this is the light version of this card from Arabian Nights. It's up 17.43% today from $35.97 to $42.24 for its average price. And its market price is actually a little higher at $53.79. Now, the regular version of this card, which is the darker version, is currently sitting at $37.99 and $38.78 for its market price. That's because there is a lower print run for the light version at 31,000 copies and the regular at 93. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are starting a list off here with Call of the Wild, and this is the 8th edition version of this foil. It is up 31.49% from $18.99 to $24.97. And the next foil winner on our winner section here is Dregs of Sorrow, and it's a 7th edition foil. It is up 32.75% from $105.42 to $139.95. Next up on our foil winner section is Lanessa Zephyr Mage from Future Sight. This card is up 33.65% from $11.59 to $15.49. And we've got Ancient Spider from Plane Shift, a gold frame old border. It is up 34.24% from $10.25 to $13.76. Next up is Hunting Moa from Urza's Destiny, another old frame foil. It is up 38.51% from $2.96 to $4.10. And the next foil winner on our winner section here today is Collective Unconscious, another card from 8th edition. It is up 47.39% from $30.70 to $45.25. And the next foil winner today is Bolt Ben from War of the Spark, and this instant is up 52.49% from $9.83 to $15. Next up on our foil winner section here today is Tomorrow Azami's Familiar from Betrayers of Kamigawa. The spirit is up 53.59% from $9.76 to $15. And the next foil winner of the day is Sarkatog from Odyssey, another old frame foil. It is up 53.81% from $4.33 to $6.66. And we've got Giant Cockroach from Urza's Legacy, another Urza's Legacy foil, up 72.07% from $5.12 to $8.81. Next up on our foil winner section is Petrodon from Torment, another rare old frame foil, up 73.57% from $2.80 to $4.86. And the next foil winner we have on our winner section here is Sever Soul from 8th edition, another 8th edition foil, up 126.95% from $141 to $3.20. And our final foil winner of the day is Orem's Thunder from Apocalypse, another old frame foil, up 263.03% from $284 to $10.31.
Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit that like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm as yes, I'm still trying to grow on this platform and every single like and comment that you guys have been doing has really helped grow my channel. I'm trying to get to 15,000 subs this year and I think I can get there with all your support. Now, let me know in the comment section, what was your favorite mover of the day? Which cards are you most surprised to see on the list? Which cards do you actually own that were on the list today? I do make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.